Hi, in this video, we are going to see the basic concepts related to processes in operating system. The program and execution is called as process. In general, the executable file of a program will be stored in the disk space. When you try to execute it, uh, it will be fetched from the hard disk space into the main memory. This time, the program is called as process. Normally, the process will follow sequential execution. There are different parts of a program which includes text section. Text section it contains the set of codes of a program. Then it may include the program counter which stores what is the uh, uh, current instruction being executed and set of registers associated with the processor will be stored in it. Mm, the stack which will contain the details of the temporary data which may be due to function parameters or return addresses of a function and the value of the local variables. The data section which will contain the global variable values. Uh, the heap which contains uh, information about dynamic memory allocation done for a process. Process control block is the data structure which will be associated with all the process being created by the operating system. It contains an important control information relevant to any particular process. Uh, the process state means what is the uh, state of a pro process at any particular instant of time will be stored here in process state. Then process number. This corresponds to process identification number which will be generated by the OS to uniquely identify process. Then the program counter which will store the address of the next instruction to be executed of this process will be stored here. Then the set of registers allotted to this process will be um, stored uh, here in this space. Then um, the uh, memory limits. What is the memory limit? I mean the memory location uh, allotted for this uh, process. Those information will be stored in the uh, PCB. Then if the running process needs any um, file to complete its operation, then this will contain, this PCB will contain information about the list of open files also. Um, it contains all information about um, accounting uh, details like how much CPU time is used, what is the uh, clock time elapsed since start and the time limits, then what are the different I.O. devices allocated to your process, all this information will be um, stored in the process control block. In general, all the um, control information of a particular process will be uh, stored in this process control block. Any process will move into different state before it's completing its operation. Here some of the important process states are given. Um, here the five important states are new state, running state, waiting state, ready state and terminated state. When a new process is created, we say that it is in new state. The newly created process will be admitted into the ready queue with the help of uh, admitted uh, entity. So here we can say that the process is uh, uh, moved from, I mean switched from new state to ready state. Here in the ready state, the ready queue will be maintained. From the ready queue, the jobs will be uh, moved to uh, CPU for processing. Uh, if uh, if the process is moved to CPU for processing, then we can say that the process is switched from ready to running state. So this switching is done by the scheduler dispatch unit. It means the scheduler dispatch determines which process waiting in the ready queue must be allotted the uh, CPU. Then the running process may, may be suspended for uh, several reasons. Maybe if any interrupt occurs, the CPU uh, will uh, put the running process into ready queue and it will go and execute the interrupted routine. Afterwards, it will come and pick the process which is waiting in the ready queue. Again, it will follow the uh, order determined by the scheduler uh, dispatch unit. The uh, running process may be suspended uh, for IO event completion. So, that time the running process will be put in uh, waiting state, I mean will be moved into waiting state. Here again the device key will be maintained. So uh, when its turn comes, it gets the device and it completes its operation. Once it completes its operation, the waiting process will be moved to uh, ready state. It means that uh, this process will be put in ready queue for execution. So 
once the uh, CPU is free, again the process will be picked from ready queue for execution. So this is how the running process will be switched into different state before completing its execution. So once all the resources are allotted and uh, the process will uh, complete its operation, then it will move to terminated state by the entity called exit. So here, uh, this uh, different state transition diagrams are given in detail along with the activity which uh, switch from I mean which causes the switch from one state to another state. Thank you all for watching the video.